Hello, and welcome to Real Illusion Hints and Tips. Quick guide to creating custom faces using two digital photos. This allows users to create custom 360 facial textures using only two digital photos, making it possible to transform you, family, or friends into real-time ready avatars in minutes. Using a front and profile image of your subject, you can easily apply both of your files to a preset head mesh. Define the blending area for the texture, and then you're ready for facial deformation or straight to animation. These methods are achieved in 11 easy to follow steps. In step one, open iClone, and go to head, load image, and then navigate to your front image, and load the photograph by double clicking on it. or simply clicking open. This will open the head editing portion of iClone for the facial fitting process. You're now ready to move on to step number two. In step number two, define your texture area for the front image using the crop tool. While taking notice of the other features of the tool, grabbing it in other places and moving it will allow you to scale and rotate. Once your area is defined, you can then just go ahead and click next. You're now ready to move on to step number three. In step number three, select the proper race and gender, then fit the contours of the head to match your front image. Spend time getting your contours as close to the guide on the right as possible. Take notice that when hovering over the corner points, you can get rotation and scale abilities. When you're ready, go ahead and click next. You're now ready to move on to step number four. In step number four, rotate the wire mask upward using the Roll XZ tool to make the eyes and mouth area match the slightly tilted face. Notice the fitting on the left. This will help provide you with a better profile once you edit the side image. You're now ready to move on to step number five. In step number five, while in edit front mode, zoom in to your front image by using the zoom in tool located at the top of the toolbar, and then begin placing your facial feature points in conjunction to the placement of the eyes, nose, and mouth. You can turn mirror on and off at the bottom, but be sure you surround both eyes completely. Then you can move back to the nose, turn mirror back on, position your nose, grab the mouth, being sure to place the center point where you want the split to, the, to occur, turn mirror back off, Place the side points where you want the split to end, zoom back out, turn mirror back on, move our chin down, be sure to replace that mouth if it moves at all, pull our cheeks down, and maybe pull our head out a little bit. And now you're ready to move on to step number six. In step number six from the top, choose Edit Side, and then Open Image. Then again navigate to your saved profile image, then double click on it to open. You're now ready to move on to step number seven. step number seven, be sure that you're working with a left-facing profile image. Again, use the crop tool to define the area as the guide specifies on the right. Click and drag out a box, then go ahead and click next. You're now ready for step number eight. In step number eight, use the outline box to line up your profile image. Pay close attention to the size, shape, and placement of the ear portion of your image in relation 
to the head mesh on the left and the alignment of the ear. Notice that hovering over the points on the sides and the corners will give you scaling and rotation capabilities. Once you have a pretty good fitting position for the ear texture, go ahead and choose next. You're ready for step number nine. In step number nine in the edit side mode, zoom into your profile image using the zoom in tool found at the top of the toolbar and begin placing the feature points playing close attention to the ear and the edges of the mouth. These points will define where the mouth will split and end. Also, moving the two vertical lines will define your blend option between your two texture images. The closer they move together, the less your blend line will be. Keeping them farther apart will blend your textures seamlessly. Again, take time to place your facial features in the correct areas. Once you have a general fit, zoom out using the zoom out tool click OK name and save your new custom 3D head you're now ready to move on to step 10 In step number 10, go to Avatar, Hair, Template or Custom to add a new hairstyle, or Modify, and scroll down to Remove to completely get rid of the default hair model. You're now ready to move on to step number 11. In step number 11, choose a character Upper, Lower, and Shoes that will fit the look and feel of your new custom head by going to upper body and then choose a section by double clicking on it. Do the same for the lower body and the shoes. Be sure to also add your new character by going to character custom choose a folder which best suits you and then choose the add button. This will add our new character into your library complete with your new head. Name your character and then save. This has been creating a custom head with only two digital photographs. For more information please visit realillusion.com or contact technical support.